I'm loving the ambiance. I know. Yeah, we, <laughs> I walked in this morning and went, oh my God. We have the full theme. Um, so you and Billy Bob, incredible. Thank Clearly, you. like we loved watching you all together, and you described him as a very truthful actor, similar to your co-star, your previous co-stars from American Horror Story. Can you elaborate on that and kind of just what you mean? Well, um, I remember uh, Marlon Brando was saying once, um, when they call action, don't do anything. You know, and Billy Bob is—he's not a Hollywood actor. He's always followed his own nose, you know, and he. He's just as he just is honest off screen, and he brings that honesty with him. On I don't just I just don't think he's capable of being uh, phony at mm -hmm. all. And um, so when you look into somebody's eyes who is that way, it really make keeps you on your toes, and you you can't fool around. You know you can't you just have to open it up. You know. <sighs> Or you won't die up there. I've done smaller spaces, trust me. Well, if you don't make it, son, I got a cigar box make a nice casket. Who you calling son? Well, I'm proud to say that my is colorblind, so you never know. Oh. Whoa. You go, little sperm. Get up in there. Boy, you don't see something like that every day. And you now you've played some pretty intense characters your current role american horror story which i love by the way and then playing this terrible mom in bat santa too does that ever kind of the intensity of these characters does that ever transfer over to your personal life like how, how are you able to convey that no you know years and years and years ago when i was doing a play on broadway and i played someone who wanted to kill themselves that that was the turning point for me that play taught me that you, you you can't damage yourself, allow yourself to be so affected by your character that you can no longer be able to work. Mm -hmm. You have to learn to be a professional, and that means doing something, you know, creating a character, working on that character, performing that character, whether you feel like it or not. That's what professional is, you know. I mean, and and I I really had to let go of that of just being so in it man I'm just so in it it, it just doesn't you can't do that mm -hmm. so I leave I come I play like a kid like a little child I love doing all of that and then I go home and I'm not that um, and in fact sometimes if it's a particularly awful character and this is sharing something very personal I I I take the makeup off. It's just, just like the reverse process. When you put the makeup on and you look in the mirror and say, okay, that's her. It's the reverse process for me at night. Take the makeup off, take away the costume. But the, the last thing I do is literally cleanse, yourself. cleanse myself, purify myself in a way to say, oh, I want all that negativity yes. to disappear. Thank you for sharing that. I, I, that's like incredible to hear. Um, so I know the characters, I mean the writers of the film, they were considering having Willie's dad in this Bad Santa too, and they decided not to, to focus more on you all's relationship. Do you think inserting that male figure kind of would have changed the dynamics of your character's relationship? Yeah, I mean, I think it would have made it testosterone heavy, can I say that? <laughs> and I think it's a good balance, you know, that, uh, and it's interesting. I think it's more interesting to have a mother figure there who's just, you know, I, I was saying earlier to someone, it's like when you see an alien, you see the mother, <laughs> and she, you just keep looking up and up and up. And it's it, it, the mother-son relationship is very complex, where, there, where I find the father-daughter complex, you know, stronger and more interesting. So I think for this film, it really worked. Thank you so much. Thank you. Such a pleasure. It was my pleasure.